that concludes our time today for Now What? Thank you so much for joining us, but you know that we love to end every episode with some action items, some practical things that you right. can do to help implement what we've shared with you today. Yeah, so we've already had a moment where we've talked about what obstacles are and the fact that you can and will overcome them. We had our Hey Lady session where we were able to really discuss simple principles and practices for overcoming fear. And don't forget the coaching tip. The coaching tip reminds us that there's always reason over rejection. So now here are your next steps. Number one, we want you to consider some of the areas of fear that may be stopping you. If you can identify at least one particular area of fear or type of fear that is trying to immobilize you, identify it and then attack it with one of the strategies that we've shared with you today. So maybe it's you begin to implement those mantras we talked about during our Hey Lady segment. Maybe you continue to tell yourself over and over again, God's got this and God's got me. Whatever it is, maybe you have developed, maybe you have an opportunity to develop your own positive affirmation, but we want you to be able to identify that area and then attack it so that fear will no longer stop you from moving forward. Absolutely, and while you're attacking your fear, also wanna make sure you can fill in the equation. Listen, there are gonna be moments where you feel rejected and sometimes, honestly, you will be. Here's the key, redirect your rejection by having a reason. So while you're talking about fear, while you're thinking through your fear, here's what I'd like for you to do. Write down, type out, I want you to visualize it. Take the rejection, just for a moment, suck it up, smile about it, and then ask yourself, where do I go from here? What does the rejection actually direct me to? And I want you to write it down. Don't just write the rejection, write the rejection, and then write how you've been redirected. Put it on a sticky note, place it somewhere where you can see it. And when you join us back here next week, our hope is that you've been able to repackage your rejection so that you realize it was never designed to stop you. It never fully defined you. It was all a part of the process to helping you overcome. Because remember, obstacles are not something you can get rid of. Life is filled with them. And you're gonna find them in your finances, in your physical health, you'll find them in your family and relationships, and even in your faith, but they do not have to be barriers to stop you from experiencing the best of life. That's right. So remember, obstacles will appear, challenges do come, but you are an overcomer and you can continue or begin today and start overcoming those challenges as they emerge in your life. You don't have to stay stuck. Please don't stay stuck. Don't. There's so much greatness in you and ahead of you. Absolutely. Remember all of those key nuggets that both Dr. Joel and Dr. Noemi gave. Uh, those are nuggets not just for today, not just for this morning. Those are nuggets to live by. And we really believe and hope that if you grab hold to our conversation that you implement from here, then you won't get stuck at the now what, but you'll be able to move from your now, maximizing it, and make sure your next is so much better.